You've probably followed the reports of how Iranian speedboats have harassed U.S. Navy vessels. Iranian Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps Navy, or IRGCN, Fast Inshore Attack Craft, or FIAC, a type of speedboat armed with machine guns, conducted unsafe and unprofessional maneuvers, and failed to exercise due regard for the safety of U.S. forces, as required under international law, while operating near U.S. naval vessels, transiting the Strait of Hormuz. The IRGCN's dangerous and provocative actions increased the risk of miscalculation and collision. They were not in accordance with the internationally recognized Convention on the International Regulations for Preventing Collisions at Sea or Calregs Rules of the Road, or internationally recognized maritime customs. They were not in accordance with the obligation under international law to act with due regard for the safety of other vessels in the area. The thing is, those speedboats are not from the Iranian Navy. Instead, they belong to the Iranian Revolutionary Guard Corps Navy. These speedboats, often equipped with heavy machine guns, rockets, and other weapons, were known for attacking merchant traffic in the iran iraq War. Back then, they were called Bogamers, after the Swedish company that built the first boats used by the Iranians. Today, the primary threat to an American warship could be a suicide craft. That said, American ships have options to address these craft. The MK-38 Mod 2 Bushmaster and the M2 Heavy Machine Gun are two of the most prominent. The M2 is a legend. It's been used on everything from tanks to aircraft to ships and against almost every target. Now, the MK-38 Mod 2 Bushmaster is not as well known. That said, it's been in quite common use. It started on the M2 M3 Bradley fighting vehicle, which the Army calls the M242. According to the U.S. Navy, the MK-38 is a 25mm machine gun system, or MGS, installed for ship self-defense to counter fast attack and fast inshore attack craft. The MK-38 also called the Mark 38 25mm MTS, was designed to protect warships primarily from surface threats, especially small, fast surface craft. It consists of an M242 Bushmaster chain gun mounted on a turret that can be manually or remotely controlled, depending on the variant. Originally designed by the US in the 1980s for their warships, the Mark 38 is today in service on warships of various NATO countries. The MK-38 25mm provides ships with short-range capability against high-speed maneuvering surface targets, floating mines, and enemy swimmers. Ships near land can use the system against enemy personnel and lightly armored vehicles. It is a low-cost weapon that can operate in any weather condition, day or night. The MK-38 can be permanently or temporarily installed on warships for deployment requirements. The initial variants of the MK-38 Mods 0 and 1 were unstabilized and required one crew member to operate manually. The latest Mods 2 and 3 feature stabilization and remote controllability. All variants of the MK-38 require two crew members for conducting maintenance, e.g. replacing the Bushmaster if it malfunctions, which takes five minutes. The primary component of the MK-38 is the 25mm M242 Bushmaster. It is an externally powered, chain-driven gun. The Bushmaster uses an electric motor to drive the moving parts for ammunition feeding, loading, firing, extraction, and cartridge ejection. The mass of the M242 on the MK-38 MGS is 109 kilograms or 240 pounds. One of the most critical aspects of the MK-38 Bushmaster is its remote control operation. The gun is operated and aimed remotely from a control station in the ship's interior. This ensures the crew's safety during combat situations while maintaining precision targeting capabilities. The MK-38 Bushmaster has advanced electro-optical slash infrared or EOIR sensors and laser rangefinders. 
These sensors provide the operators with a comprehensive view of the battlefield, even in low-light conditions. The system's optics enable accurate target identification and tracking, enhancing overall situational awareness. The weapon system's stabilization technology compensates for the vessel's motion, ensuring accurate firing solutions even in rough seas. This feature greatly enhances the system's accuracy and allows it to engage both stationary and moving targets effectively. The MK-38 Bushmaster can utilize a variety of 25mm ammunition types, including armor-piercing, high-explosive, and armor-piercing discarding sabots or APS. This versatility enables the gun to engage various threats, ranging from small boats and unmanned aerial vehicles to larger surface targets. The U.S. Navy put the Bushmaster on ships, comprising the main armament of the Cyclone-class patrol craft. Each Cyclone has two guns, one of which is paired with a MK-19 automatic grenade launcher. The guns are used on other surface combatants as well. Guns can do a lot of damage. In conclusion, the MK-38 Bushmaster is a state-of-the-art naval weapon system that significantly bolsters the capabilities of modern naval vessels. Its remote-controlled operation, advanced optics, and stabilization features provide naval crews with reliable and highly accurate means of engaging diverse threats. As naval warfare continues to evolve, the MK-38 Bushmaster remains crucial in maintaining maritime security and safeguarding vital interests across the world's oceans. The U.S. crews operated with distinct professionalism and superior seamanship. As professional mariners, we expect the IRGCN to operate with due regard for the safety of all vessels, as required by international law. Our Navy will continue to fly, sail, and operate anywhere international law allows while promoting the rules-based international order throughout the region. In support of international norms, the U.S. is not an aggressor. Our naval forces remain postured in a non-provocative manner that exemplifies professionalism, incentives adherence to international law and customs, and persuades others to emulate our actions. Our forces are trained, however, to conduct effective defensive measures when necessary.